Hey there. How y'all doing today? Welcome back to my channel. So, I'm going to be opening up my other two thrift store bags. There were four total and I haven't been here to do it and I knew like Friday I could do it. So here we are on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving day and everything like that. So I have a couple of things. Clearly it's going to be Christmas season as of today officially. And so I got these for $1.49. Just some wind chimes or... You can hang them over top of your door, wherever you want to put them at. And so I got those. And here's another little tree. I told you all I was getting these little trees. $1.99. I saw this little one. I was like, oh, yes. So now I have these three little things here. And, you know, that's what I'm working with getting little trees so I can put one in the kitchen and one in the dining room and a couple of them in the living room and you know I might take one and put it in the bathroom if I find another small one or two or three who knows all right and I found this I thought this was cute Easter will be coming up soon and this is Noah's Ark kind of thing so I got this for my children's channel I think it's wood it looks like it's wood. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, I got this. And that was the reason for my children's channel. And I got some lights. Um, these lights, most of them work. But it looks like a whole string of them does not work. And I was like, do you want to get them? They don't work. And I was like, well, maybe it's just one bulb missing somewhere. Or sometimes when you go through the line, you can see it's a black one. And you replace that one and then they'll all work. But for $2.49, this is at least 100 or 150 lights. So it was worth my money, even though... Um, some of them was not on, okay? And I have several replacement bulbs, the packs. When you buy a box, you get like four or five replacements. So I have some, so it's not a real big deal. And then I saw this. I thought this was cute. It's old. It is. It's, you know, kind of like this and everything, but that's not a problem to me. Like, I can still add some puffy paint. I got some silver puffy paint and I can just, you know, snazz him, jazz him a little bit more again. And this is just a soap pump and I can put it in my kitchen, $149. And I checked it all out and everything before I got it. And it appears to be, you know, still doable. It's just that somebody was finished with it. They had it all this time, I imagine. But the pump works. And so for $1.49, that's not bad. And it's pretty cool. So, we picked that up. We got that. Got me an oven mitt because my Christmas stuff is packed away. And I don't want to go in the boxes to look for it. And I just don't want to. So, I got some black um, pot, hot, hot pot holders in the kitchen. His nose is black. So, this was pretty cool for $0.79. Cent and it looks unused. So, we got that. Just because I like to hang some stuff around in the kitchen at Christmas time. And I got these cards. These were $3.49. And they say, God bless you, love you, keep you at Christmas time in all ways. And it's almost like that made the Lord watch between me and thee pray. And so I got these. Um, at some point, they were $11.79. But I got them for $3.50. And there are, I think, 18 Oh, 20 cards. It says 20 cards. So I opened it and checked it to see before I got it. Like, are they here? All? Are they stuck together? You know, all that kind of stuff. You got to look into and see how it is for you. I opened it. I didn't have to open that tape. Let's see. This tape is unsticky or something like that. It's right here. Yeah. 
I know it wasn't hard to get in because I checked it at the thrift store. So the whole thing of envelopes are still bound together and you can get in them. They're not sealed. You know, sometimes the envelopes are all stuck together and it's like, oh goodness, I can't do nothing with them either. Like she couldn't. So here's the card and the card is like die cut, but it opens up like that. So that was pretty cool. So I'm be you know using them this season and everything and so i got that and this is just some vintage boxes i got one set of the lights though i gotta see where they are they're probably in the other bag but this was a vintage set of lights if you remember these lights from a long time ago let me see yep right here this is how Christmas lights used to come. They used to come in the styrofoam just like this. And this is 20 lights. And the other set didn't work when I plugged it up. And she took it and was putting it in the trash. I said, can I keep the packaging? And she gave it to me. So I was glad because I can use this in my junk journals. Because this is vintage. And it's got this old price tag when they used to have... You know, like an ink pad and it was stamp a ticket and you pull it out like, you know, Woolworths. Y'all probably don't know nothing about that. But anyway, um, that's how it used to be. And um, this says weatherproof for indoor or single flashing. I'm not sure what that is. And it says outdoor use. So I guess it's indoor or outdoor use all the way over here. I'm not sure why they got that. So anyway, I kept this packaging I kept this because I'm going to use it. So these were only $1.49 and she threw the other one in the trash. Rightly so. It did not work. And I got some clothes. I got some clothes, but I'm not going to show my clothes. I only got uh, two pair of pants and a sweater. Um, I got two sweaters actually. I'll show it to you. Why not? I'll show it to you. I know somebody said, well, why we can't see it? Why, why, why we can't see it? What, what kind of clothes did you get? Why can't you show it to us then? So I got this sweater. This is a sweater. And the price was $6.99. And it's a Christmas sweater. Isn't it gorgeous? Just very, very pretty. In great condition. In great condition. Very, very nice. Okay. Very, very nice. And I got that orange and purple and green and red. And I got it with these pants, which are like a, a legging. You see this kind of print on there. Okay. And it's like a legging. Very heavy. And these were brand new. Nobody ever wore them. Megan Market 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 whatever that is and these were $7.49 tags are still affixed so I'm going to wear I have two Christmas outings coming up and uh, with my church family the ministerial staff and so I will decide one outfit outfit for one and one for the other and so that was good. I got that. And I got these. These are just a pair of sweatpants. That's all it is. A pair of sweatpants. And um, they're in new condition. They're in new condition. In fact, they are new. See? I didn't even know that. They're probably too big for me. I would probably wear them in a large or an extra large. But I don't care because I can wash them and put them in the dryer and they'll shrink a little bit. And it's fine because they're just sweatpants. And I didn't even know they had the tag on the inside. I just knew that they looked to be in very good condition. So I got them brand new. And the price, the tag came off of it, but it was $5.79 or $5.99, something like that. I think it was $5.79 for those and I got this green shirt to go with it a green Christmas shirt okay that's what I got and this one was $5.99 so that's a pretty good deal 
You see that? Very, very pretty. And it goes very, very good with these sweatpants. Okay, that's what I got. This Karen Scott. Yeah, this is Karen Scott. My mother's into Karen Scott clothing. She used to be getting it all the time. I bumped into that. But yeah, so that's the two things that I got. Also, I got these. I got these. These are 349 And I like when I get bag stuff. One time when I went to, when I lived in Georgia, I moved from Maryland, went to Georgia to live. And I was there for a year. And I left all my Christmas stuff in the house that I moved out of here in Maryland. And I was so mad when I got there. And it was like August. And around October, near my birthday, November, I thought about my Christmas stuff. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I left all that stuff in the Christmas bin. You used to be able to come down the steps from the second floor. And at the bottom of the landing, there was this like a toy chest type of um, bench that was made into the step and you could lift it up and it'd be a storage case. And I used to keep all my Christmas stuff in there. And when I moved out, I never looked in there and all my Christmas stuff was left behind. And so when I went to Georgia's thrift store, I was like, I got to find me a thrift store somewhere and find me something for Christmas for my kids to put a tree in our bedroom where we were living. And, um, and I found a bag that was probably about this size, but it was full. It was full all the way up. And I still have all of that stuff. And I use it from time to time. Not every year because I'm trying to preserve it. But um, from time to time I use it. And it was probably like, I wouldn't say more than maybe 10 or $12. It probably wasn't even that much. Maybe between 8 to 10 I would say between 8 to $10 for all of that stuff in that bag. And I was real happy. It was real old stuff. And I was real glad about it. It was not like old, old vintage type old. But it was like some mother had it. And she had it for a long time. And she took good care of it. Like this stuff. Look how lovely this is. This is a Christmas mitt. I couldn't see everything in there, but when I saw the rocking chairs, I was like, oh, I'm buying that. Give it here. Thank you. How much was it? Uh, here's the tag. $3.49. This is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Oh, so pretty. Oh, I love that. And then we have a train, and it just says holiday and all of this stuff is beautiful. All these blues and burgundies, the wheels are off. I see them right here. That's all right. We'll put some little bit of hot glue on there. That's one and that's two. Maybe we got another one somewhere. I don't see it, but it's okay. We'll work it out. I might make one. We got two. That's good. And then what's this? This is Noel. Okay, it goes on here. We got to figure it out how we're going to fix that. We'll just hot glue it too. Just put it right there like that and it'll be fine. Drop it down a little lower maybe, but it goes right there because you see it's a little hole that probably screwed, but it's no hole here. So I'm not sure, but I'm going to hot glue it together and it's going to be just fine. Very nice, very nice. This is so gorgeous. Look at this, a music, a music sheet. So this looks like it's messed up here, but I don't care. It's fine. It's just rubbed off. That's what it is because this is like a, a glass, not, not glass, like a clear sticker. It's like clear sticker. I wouldn't know how to fix this really, but it's okay. It's all right. It's fine. I might just take um I might take a vintage um page of my journal stuff and cut it down and put it in here. Or I might have some small music stickers or something in my um in my little stash box. But either way it's still cute and I love it. I love all of this dark red stuff like this. It's so pretty. 
I mean, I like the traditional red too, but this like, this too red, like bright red. But, you know, this stuff right here has always looked so rich and so nice. This wood, all this is wood. And this is a 10 man, a soldier. Yeah. He's a soldier or maybe he's a Santa. I don't really know. I, I imagine this stuff means he's a soldier. But he looked like uh, Santa or something. I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, it's going on the tree. Somebody made this. And this wood also. Is he a tin man? He looks like he's um, Santa, I guess. I don't know. And look at this snowman. That's cute too. That's really cute. What is he holding? Balloons? I'm not sure, but he's cute too. And here's another one. Like, I don't really know. This looks like Santa because of the buttons and the belt. And, you know, he looks cute. This is so cute. This is so cute. I don't really know, you know, what's going on with this. I guess it's Nisa come around and go up or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, it's very, very cute. I like it. I like it a lot. Then we have this. This is a little bell. It don't sound like a bell, but it's still cute. All right. Santa's got some kind of bird on his hand or whatever. Okay. And we got this stack of books. What a snowman. The scarf is flying up, but we'll put a little bit of water on it or just a dab of glue and just stack it down. Frosty, snowbound, and this one is worn. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, This one is worn. I can't hardly see what it says. It's worn off. They say something in the sun. Something in the sun. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not sure what it says. But Frosty needs a little bit of... Maybe... I might leave him like that. He looks like an eggshell. So, it's okay. We'll leave him like this. It might have been a whole set with all of this. And this one is a rocking horse. Of some sort. Might supposed to be a reindeer. I don't know. But it's pretty. And here's another little choo-choo train. Very nice. I love this. I love it. And look at this. This is a Asian sandal. Okay. This is Pier 1. So we got Pier 1 here in Baltimore. So now, look at this. That's nice. It's heavy. Okay. So that's what was in that bag. And then I got this bag. This bag was $4.99. And I wasn't going to get this at first. I was like, do I really need this? I saw that Christmas package right there, and I saw these bells. And I was like, well, why do I want to buy all of this? I'm not sure. And I looked at this, and I know it could work for junk journaling. And I was like, but it's kind of Valentine's Day, and I don't really know if I want this. Is it worth $5 to me? Easter grass? Like, I don't really know. And then I kept looking at it and looking at it, and I said... Just get it. It's the Christmas boxes and the bells. That's what you want. And later on, you'll probably be glad because you actually can use that this stuff here um, to cover your journals. And you can use it on your pages, on the edges when you turn the page, you know, they decorate the stuff like that. Now, this I couldn't make out. I didn't know what this was. I saw it was black and white, but I couldn't tell what this is. But this is plastic, and it's a tree ornament. Okay. I couldn't make it out. I was like, well, what is that? 
because they had that all big tied bundled up and stapled I couldn't really see but that's okay it's a tree ornament and that's cute too that's cute you only have to use it as a tree ornament you can leave it on the table so this is a uh, decorative mesh is what this is so see what they did they made a wreath out of it and that's what people be doing and they also cut this stuff and put it on the like you take the cardboard and then you cover it with cardstock and then you can put some uh, PVA glue on there and roll this stuff out and put it on there gives it a nice texture but I wasn't sure if I wanted it I wasn't sure, but it's three of them, and they brand new. And somebody must have said, put that in there all as one. And then I got three spools of ribbon, so that's pretty cool. I got a light green, but this lime, and I got a skinny, thin pink, so that's a good one. And I have an orange, but you can never have too much of that because you're going to need it. And these is what I was looking at. I wanted these out of there and I wanted these bells. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. These and these right here. You can get this stuff at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree used to sell stuff like this. But it might not be this big. It might be a little bit smaller and you can get that. And it might be just nine pieces or eight. You never know. And they sell these, but they are a little bit smaller. So, it's good. And then what's this? Fairy Garden Figurines. Okay. Three pieces of shells or something. Okay. I don't know what I would use that for. And this is Easter grass. That's what that is. So I got all of that for $5. All of that for $5. And I had a coupon. I keep telling y'all I had a coupon. We always got a coupon. We ain't buying it without a coupon. So that's how that is. And put this to the side because that's for another season or something. I don't really know. Put this Christmas stuff is what I'm needing right now, right now. And then I got this. I got this right here. I loved it. You see that? That's a little wooden box. It's a wooden box that somebody painted. It was $2.49. But it has the Star David and it has the Nativity on the front. And I was looking at this like, I love this, but am I going to repaint it? I'm not going to repaint it. I don't know if I feel like repainting it, but when I looked at the baby, I was like, I want to do something. I don't really know. So I might repaint this. And I might repaint it on Sunday this week. And then there's a little tree right here. I found this piece of rope sitting on the floor. It came off of something, so I just picked it up and said, okay, they're not going to do nothing with that. I put it right here like this with this tree that's in here like this so I said okay we got that we don't know what we're going to use it for but we got us a couple little trees and this some kind of bell or whatever and it's supposed to be the tree top or somebody made this out of a piece of cardboard and some glue shaped it into a bell and put it up there and probably was real cute when they first did it but I'm going to take all this stuff apart and redo these trees some kind of way. I got about four of them. So that's that. I might repaint this. The paint running down, there's a bead of paint right there. And I was thinking, man, I probably have to paint it all black first and then come back and redo it. So I don't know. So I might just do that. I don't have any. I don't think I have. I got some black paint. It's acrylic, but I would want some wall paint to repaint this. It's kind of cool like it is, but, you know, just, I don't know. I don't really know. I'm looking at it. I was looking in the thrift store and thinking about how you going to repaint it. Are you just going to leave it like this? I don't know. 
I still don't know, but I thought it was cool because there's a nativity, a nativity scene without having all of the stuff out that you need. Now, I, I got this tree too. This is like a little bush. This is like a little bush. This is a ceramic pot that somebody painted. And somebody painted this and put this together some kind of way. And I said, that's still cute and Christmassy. And this one was only 99 cents. I told y'all I was getting all these little trees and these things. So, you know, it started because I saw this tree. When I went the first day, I saw this tree. I was like, oh, that's so cute. I now got to look for some more. And every time I went for those two days, I just kept looking for little trees. And I found some. So, I think that's it besides this. I was so mad, y'all. I want y'all to know, on the bus stop, I broke it. I had my bag setting on the bench. And I was looking, are you going to get on the bus over here or are you going to wait for the train? And I was doing like that back and forth in my mind. And I moved my leg and stepped back so I can see if the train was coming up the track. And my bag fell off the bench. And I heard something say, boom. And I knew something broke. I didn't know what it was. But this is what it was. And I was so mad. So when I saw this, I was like, I didn't know Santa had a garden. I thought it was snow in the North Pole. I didn't know where this garden idea came from, but clearly he has all this holly in his basket, and he has some poinsettias, and I dropped my bag, and it still sits in here properly. I can fix it, and I was so grateful for that. Because it can still sit in here. Where's the, um, let me make sure the piece is here. Right, so it's one opening right there to his shoe right there. And I still have it. It's in the bag. But you can see that this is, you know, his pot to be watering with. And then there is a spade here. And then there is this welcome to my garden sign. And I was like, okay, all right. So that's where we at with that. And when I looked at it, y'all know I was thinking about if I'm going to repaint him. I was like, he probably need a little brushing up, but he kind of look all right like this. He kind of does. Just get the scrub brush and scrub him and clean his face and his, his beard and just leave him like this. That's what I was thinking. You don't have to repaint him. He looks kind of good just like this. Okay? Yeah, because I was thinking you might not be able to do his shirt like this. And somebody, you know, they cut it in in grooves. And it's got black lines. And then they just made him red to match this vest. And he looks kind of cool. I just didn't know that he had a garden and everything. So, you know, he can still sit here. So if he can sit there like this, be careful now. If he can sit there like this, then I'm sure I can, you know, go ahead and put some uh, Gorilla Glue or something like that on there and fix it. I was so mad, though. I was really upset. But it's okay. Because you see it's fixable. And this is his other front part to his boot. So I would have to put this on here. Some kind of way like this. And glue that on. And once I glue that on. Then I can set them on there. And it should be all good. Okay. Um, Do I have anything else? No, I just got some magazines that somebody gave me from church for junk journal stuff. That's all it is. Um, let me see. 
I think that's it in my bag. Let me check. I think. I think that's it in my bag. Just let me check the bag out. Make sure I skip something that looks like. Oh, Dad, you did have something else. Like that. I did have something else. I got these ornaments. These were a dollar for some bulbs. And did I see how much this cost? This was $3.49. And I broke it. And anything else in here? No, just my junk mail that people bring me to church for my junk journals. So I think that's the end of my video. I think that's the end. And so I checked all of that out and I don't see anything else. So guys, that's the end of my video. And I hope you enjoyed watching what I had in my little two bags that were left. And I hope to see you in my next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Don't know when that's going to be. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. And take care.